little feetsies. Hi there, little feetsies. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yana. Uh, before I begin even introducing anything, I'm just going to say it right now that uh, it is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> So everyone's like super wide awake and yes, my baby niece Alpha is also um, super energetic at the moment. So <laughs> while I do this video, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll hear her screaming a lot in the background. So I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's how things are when there's a baby around. And today, finally I'm back I'm getting into the introduction. Oh my god, my hair. Oh, whatever. Couldn't be bothered <laughs> at this moment. Uh, so today, this came in the parcel. <laughs> it's so huge. I don't think like the whole thing is filled, but it's so huge. Basically, today, uh, what I'm doing is unboxing the um, Huasa's Maria album. Honestly, I keep on saying Maria Huasa. <laughs> Uh, technically, Huasa is um, her Christian name is Maria, and yeah, so she literally did a whole album based on her Christian name. Uh, the basically the gist of the whole album is like her going through the rough tides from people um, hating on her, criticizing her, constantly constantly throwing shades on her, and she has to like rough it out through all of that and she has grown to be way stronger now and she's just shining so bright nowadays so yeah so I wanted to support her album because this is like her first official solo album the last one was Tweet uh, Hwasa's Tweet was a solo single first single so yeah so this is the whole album if you haven't checked out Tweet yet, I don't know what you guys have been doing with your life, please go check out Tweet. <laughs> uh, if you have already checked out Tweet and you want to know what Hwasa has been doing, you should definitely go and check out her new album, Maria, because it will just blow your mind, grind down to your soul. I don't know, it's going to touch your emotions that you never knew existed. It's just a very raw album. That That's how I can put it like the at the best that I can put it it's a raw album that you really get to know what is actually going on in her mind what is actually going on in her life what she's doing um, to like conquer all the hurdles that's been thrown at her so yeah she is just amazing I'll be frank Honestly, when I first got to know Mama Mu, Hwasa was my least favorite because uh, I'm a very timid person and for me, Hwasa comes off very strong. But throughout the six years that I've been with Mama Mu, I've grown a lot in terms of like, I'm always inspired by their music, like how they know how to love themselves, they know how to give love, how to take love. Um, and stuff like that so uh, year by year actually I'll say day by day day by day as long as I'm listening to Mama Mu I've grown to be very fond of Hwasa and right now she is like definitely one of the um, artists that I really look up to because she's just that amazing so yeah so I know the intro was quite long <laughs> let me get straight into the unboxing what's happening but <laughs> there's a lot of commotion outside of my room yeah, I'm really not, not sure what's going on but yeah so I bought the album and I swear to god I don't know why is it so big like what on earth is in this <laughs> like I know it's the album but seriously what is this like I feel like uh, ever since uh, Moonbill's Dark Side of the Moon album came out and then Solas spit it out came out. I feel like they are all just trying to make bigger bigger packages, bigger albums just to like top one another. <laughs> and I actually won't be surprised. Uh, you guys can coin me now. Uh, I actually won't be surprised if if their new album has like their new comeback as a four as a group um, has 
like a side track or a B track that sings about how their albums are trying to size up one another. <laughs> I honestly won't be surprised. I'm saying it here first, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I changed my how my wardrobe looks like because now at least like when I use this view as a backdrop like it looks bright it, it doesn't look so gloomy and I like that oh okay 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 so <laughs> now I know why it's huge so because she has a poster and I did order the poster in a tube so that it doesn't crumple the poster so yeah, I actually spent a bit more for the poster. So this is the one that actually took the whole space. Like inside, it's not it's not that big, but technically her album is big. So this is the whole album. Okay, technically the album is big. I think Solar's one is more of a square, and hers and Hwasa's one is more of a rectangle. I'm not sure which side do I open this from. The fact that <laughs> the colorblind me sees this and my hand is the same size and the same color. This is this. I don't know where's the up, where's the down. Where's the up, where's the down. I always have a problem of opening this like upside down. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I got the dinner, the, the dinner table. Yeah, the dinner table, the di the dining table, the dinner table. Okay, I don't know whether it's breakfast or lunch or dinner here, but <laughs> I'm just going to say the dinner table. Oh, now I actually can see what was on the actual table itself. Like, because the envy pans in very fast, so and I can't really tell what is it. So basically... There's like microphones, like can you not? There's actually a microphone here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. It's actually microphones. Like, wait a minute, is that all the microphone? Like, the microphones that uh, a mumus from certain, certain countries actually got them, like, for gifts. Like, they gave like the whole Mamamoo set, like, so each of them, like, have like the f uh, four of their own personalized uh, mics. I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing this properly or not. Uh, as in, like explaining this properly or not. But yeah, it looks it looks like it's those hand mics that she has received like from fans. Oh, and then here you can see the. Um, it actually looks like a donut here, but it it's not a donut. It's the um, headphones, the cover of the headphones, and then I can see jewelry. I think this is like pins, like push pins. I think this is push pins. It looks like push pins. Um, there's definitely jewelry in the jewelry. <laughs> uh, this girl's plate has a uh, mouse, like the. This kind of mouse. <laughs> That's so cool. What is that? Oh no. Um, I don't know um, why, but it could be. I don't know. I probably need to Google this, but there's actually pills on this, uh, on this plate right here. I want to check what pills are those. Like, what pills are red and yellow colored? Like, is it depression pills? Because I know this, I know um, Maria, as in like Kwasa's new song, Maria, has a lot to do with how she had to deal with the whole depression stuff while becoming an idol. So, yeah. This one, if I'm not mistaken, this is a heart. Sorry, the posters are quite huge. This one here, these two here, it looks like the heart. Like, actually one looks like a brain, one looks like a heart, so I'm not sure. Yo, this one looks like a brain. The one that's next to it looks like a heart because it looks like it has the aorta and stuff like that. 
So I think that's the brain and there's the heart. And then uh, some of it are just like beads and jewels and stuff like that. So yeah. And of course, uh, Hwasa's apron is like just covered in blood. <laughs> Honestly, even when she's covered in blood, she looks so damn hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it now that she looks damn hot. Okay, so that's the poster that I got. So, uh, it's double wrapped. Oh, Hwasa's album is not like, um, for We In's album. Oh, I don't want to. There's a nice sticker here that says Maria. I am trying not to tear it. Like, it's a good quality, so I don't think it tear. But just in case, be extra careful. Okay, so for uh, We In's, um, was it Let's Break Up? album the sore album the sore album even in that the cd was like inside of uh it was inside of a the cd cover itself the album album cover itself and then um okay so Hwasa's one just comes in a packet like this. So yeah, even Solar's one came, Solar's and Moonbill's one came in like a paper packet or something like that. Yeah, it came in a paper packet. So inside here, they have the intro, Nobody Else. Nobody Else sounds so good and for those who like want to get into Korean songs but don't really understand Korean like neither do I but I still love Korean songs nevertheless <laughs> uh, what do you call that? if you are into like want to slowly gradually get yourself into K-pop maybe try give a listen to Hwasa's Nobody Else because it's as far as I remember it's fully English like the whole intro song is fully English and it's them it's them nice it it overwhelms you with emotions <laughs> Uh, and then you have the Maria, of course. Then there's the Kidding song. Why I'm Bad Too. Uh, LMM. And also Tweet Tweet. She included Tweet in this album as well. So, regarding LMM. LMM's uh, MV is coming out. Music video is coming out on the 16th of July. Yeah, which is just another few more days. I'm honestly contemplating on whether I should get <laughs> that album or not because I saw the photo album it was so pretty. But it's, I'll be honest, it's actually quite expensive. Especially from the peop uh, from the girl that um, I always buy it from because she buys in bulk. So maybe there's extra charges there. I don't think there's extra charges there. But yeah, so there is like charges there. So... <laughs> I'm not sure that I should get get the uh, LMM version of this as well. Like, I'm not sure. That it, I'm not sure about the right term, but it could be like an extension album, because that album, um, that CD, that <laughs> comeback, uh, it's focused on LMM. So yeah. So I'm not sure <laughs> that I should be spending a lot because I really want. To to save up my money for um, for their comeback because I'm pretty sure they are having a comeback soon I think they're in preparation for their comeback as a whole group so yeah I'm trying to like keep my money <laughs> for that <laughs> so let's see god damn these people are like these people are creating dictionaries, eh? Look at this. This is like a whole encyclopedia version of an album. Like, this is so goddamn huge. But yeah. Apparently, right, I just saw one of her interview. She said that um, this whole album was quite hard to select, like, only a few pictures because a lot of pictures came out. A lot of pictures came out very well 
and then like the reason why this picture became like the album cover the main picture for the whole album was because like was because like uh, I don't know who voted like but like a whole bunch of people voted for this to be the cover so yeah that's why this is the cover and I actually really like the second picture as well like literally the logo of Maria is her pearl tattoo on her back and I don't know it's just so pretty like it just feels so aesthetic like it just feels extremely aesthetic oh I'm uh, now that I look at this like I know Pasa is fine with snakes so yeah because during one of her one of their I think it's MMTV MMMTV I'm not sure or one of the videos <laughs> that she, they appeared on she was the only one that was like super brave to actually go and hug like let the snake like sit on her body the rest of the members were like screaming and scre screaming and like wiggling here and there but she was the only one that was like super okay with snakes and I think this cellophane tape thingy kind of resemble her shedding like shedding her old skin like shedding her old self and coming up more stronger than ever I feel that's how I am interpreting it so I could be wrong but that's how I'm interpreting it this is so gorgeous like honestly in the beginning like this visual of Fossa was very intimidating for me so that's why she became she was my least favorite because I felt very intimidated by her aura. Her aura is very strong and it takes a stronger, not a stronger person or at least a strong person who is not really intimidated, not easily intimidated to actually like embrace her. So eventually after when I started growing out of the whole like being scared of stuff, like only having a certain kind of type of artists that I like, like Kwasa broke those boundaries for me, like broke those idealistic idealistic um, images in my brain, in my mind. So yeah, so she is like creating new standards and standards that only, if I can say this, standards that only Kwasa can make. Like, I always say that Kwasa is Fossa is basically a genre on its own. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Like recently, like a lot. Okay, now I understand why it's like a whole goddamn encyclopedia kind of <laughs> size. Like, okay, if I was her and all my pictures came out that amazing, I would want to include all my pictures too. Like, like what do I care? <laughs> I'm going to put every single picture in because every single picture counts. Oh, this one's so cute. Oh, she's having two? Okay, wait. I'm not sure whether this is like a separate image or it's the same image. It could be a separate image. Oh, shit. Something fell off. It could be a separate image, but <laughs> it looks cute because here there's one and then here there's one head <laughs> popping out here. So cute. <laughs> this snake is so cute. Okay, I'm actually, I actually do love snakes, but I am a, I am a bit... Um, what is gully? Gully, gully in English. I think gully, the direct translation would be disgusted, but I'm not disgusted. I, I'm just very off. Like, I feel very squirmish when I see the uh, smaller versions of the snake. Those, like, really tiny ones that look like lizard. As long as they look like lizard, I don't like <laughs> the saying. So yeah, so big lizards I'm fine, and big lizards, no 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 no, big snakes I'm fine, bigger snakes I'm fine, smaller snakes I'm a bit like, mm, not here, not there, red or not. <laughs> oh, this one. oh my god, this is so aesthetically pleasing, like it's so simple, oh my god, this is so simple. Like, she is, for me, she's only like, what, she is, if I'm not mistaken, she is 4 years younger than me, which means she is 25 this year. She's only 25, 
people. She's only 25, but the women power, women empowerment in her, the women vibes in her is like so strong. Oh, let's go on to recreate. I mentioned this in my solar unboxing album. I'll leave it up here that I really want to try to recreate all their pictures, their, all their photos, just, just for fun. Like in my own version, but inspired by them. Because it just feels like... Uh, I don't know... <gasps> oh, this one! This one was... <laughs> Everything's coming out! No, don't show me yet! I don't want to see it. Not yet. <laughs> Like this was the, um, apparently this was like the um, funeral for the old Hwasa. Like when everybody just kept bombarding her with hate and with negativity and she kind of like took her own life. And then um, basically after her death, she rose up back into... The Hwasa that we know now. Like, look at that. If that isn't women empowerment, I don't know what is. This looks so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> this, look at that. Okay, probably my angle isn't helping either, but look at that. So this is apparently like, um... What was the story behind this again? I'm not sure whether this was when she like got herself baptized, like it's supposed to re represent something of that sort, or this was when she drowned herself. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm a bit confused with the theories that I read online, but yeah. Something, something along those lines. But she looks amazing. She looks so fine. <laughs> I'm laughing at this because <laughs> look at that way. Eh? It's like a full promotion of nail arts. <laughs> like if you want to do nail art promotion, you probably can follow this concept. Like it looks absolutely amazing. And there's one uh, of the backup dancers that has like full body tattoos, and I really love her because there's just something about her that's so alluring. Just saying. This is he, her whole backup dancer group. It's basically Mama Moo's official dancer, backup dancers because like you can see a few familiar faces. <laughs> this is this one. <laughs> all my double chins all coming out. <laughs> this one. Everyone like super love her in this one. Like we all love her in everything, but. She in this outfit was just so different. It was just so different. Ah, I don't like when it when it's half half like this. Ah. Okay, you You see, she looks amazing in that. And whatever backdrop that they had at this place is like super lit. Like they literally made the background like um like it's somewhat underwater ish if you get what I mean. Like if you see the walls, like it's reflecting water but she's not even standing in water, so I don't know. There's just something super fiery about this whole thing. But uh I forgot what's the name of this the movie but apparently this is a like is it is it pronounced as how much? homage to one of the famous movie where the main actress is basically like adored by every single man in the town but like um adored her to the point where it became like abusive and stuff like that i don't know i didn't really i don't think i've watched that movie before i probably should because like i really want to see that movie because it's like an interesting um i think it'll, it'll be an interesting like eye-opener kind of movie 
I think. I think. Because a lot of people was like raving about it in the comment section below the uh, official MV for the Huasa Maria song. And I don't know, I just felt like, oof, I want to see. Like, I want to take beautiful pictures like this too. She is so beautiful. Like, can you imagine a person that's like me, like at first you saw her as very intimidating, you like don't really like her or you like her the least, but then now you're just like super attracted to her. I don't know whether there's many moos that will be able to relate with me in that sense, but I am definitely like into her nowadays. Like before this, I was very into her voice, like just her voice. But then as soon as I like grown to really like her personality, like how strong her aura is, like everything else just sort of fell in place after that. Ooh, okay, I don't know what these Korean words are saying, but this one here, right, uh, in the MV, you can also see like when she was like, sort of, like you can tell she was like contemplating something, like a decision that she was about to make. and that part where they were like um, zooming into where she was like sort of playing and caressing with the um, scissors was very I don't know iconic in a way uh, this part like this part here like it's so like I think a lot of people who has been either in an abusive situation or they themselves abuse their mind, their body and stuff like that probably could relate better and I'm just going to throw it out there that you guys even though you may feel like the world is against you please know that there are people who really and truly care about you I may not know you personally but I love every single soul on this earth Except for people who are so toxic <laughs> and so like, I don't know, there are people who pretty much don't deserve the world. <laughs> but for the rest of you guys, please, please, please know that I, I may be like just a speck of dust in your, <laughs> uh, in your life, but, and. Uh, I do appreciate you being here so please if you ever feel down or if you ever feel like the world is too harsh on you I don't know maybe drop me an email or something I will leave my email down here I don't know I just want to help people feel like they are not alone because I sort of understand what it's like to feel like you're like surrounded by a lot of people but you, at the same time you just feel extremely lonely I understand that feeling a lot so it was a phase at one point of time so yeah so if you guys are feeling very hurt and very out of it you don't know where you want to hide you can't talk to your parents you can't talk to your best friend maybe talking to a stranger like me will help I don't know I can't guarantee whether it will help but I don't mind being the eyes and the ears that you need. So, yeah. Just saying. I know it got really deep. <laughs> it got really deep out of nowhere. Sitting on this sofa. She was sitting on this sofa while playing with the um, scissors and whatnot. And then at this same this same sofa uh, in the MV is when you will see like the whole group came in like the rest of the Mamamoo members came in from the back it was very heartwarming <laughs> of a scene like you wouldn't like nobody expected that ending scene but that ending scene really made a lot of us tear up especially for Mumus Mumus were all like <laughs> like the moment that MV came out right a lot of people highlighted the ending scene because like we all felt like what she was trying to portray in that 
envy was like no matter what people throw at her, her family and her friends, uh, like her family as in her parents and stuff like that, and also Mama Mu because she, I, I would dare to say that uh, Mama Mu sees each other as, as family members instead of just colleagues and acquaintances and stuff like that. So that when that scene came about, a lot of us felt like. Like Hwasa was having a rough time, a really really rough time. But then, the other Mamamu members made it much more easier to get by with life, and that's why she like included them all in because like it just means the world to her. Like Mamamu means the world to her in in a sense. Like the Mamamu is the her safety net and something like that, something along those lines. So, yeah. What Hwasa is trying to say is, no matter what, that like you could have a good or a great support system, but they it's a fact where they're not always going to be there. They can't always going to be there because they also have their own life to attend to. So why don't you like invest in yourself? Why don't you love yourself first so that you can give love to other people? Why don't you help yourself first so that you can help other people? And stuff like that. So basically, like she's just trying to say, like, no matter what, just love yourself, smile. Honestly, like, um, smile honestly. Don't force yourself to smile. Like, love yourself and smile. Like stuff like that. So yeah, it really hits deep. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. Yeah. Plus, when she smiles, it's so cute. Like she has the most like babyish, innocent smile that makes her look so cute. <laughs> Just kind of so scary and beautiful at the same time. Like I would love to take this kind of picture. Look at that. This is amazing. This is amazing. She basically just shared like a whole photo album. <laughs> basically, essentially that's what happened. Which is why this is the Maria Encyclopedia. <laughs> it's the Maria Encyclopedia Encyclopedia that everyone needs. <laughs> Let me start with this one first. This one. Oh, this is so pretty. I think there's like a few like different different ones, but yeah. it's so pretty. Oh my god! Like I want to take this kind of picture. Like, can I please take this kind of picture? Can someone help me take this kind of picture? Thank you. Woo. Yes, if you guys are wondering like why am I suddenly like smiling here, that you guys know it. It's basically the trying to get <laughs> trying to get the uh, thumbnail picture <laughs> oh and this one is the it's I still don't know what is this thing called but <laughs> I think you guys have noticed like I use this for my bookmarks like the B in one the solars one and even the moonbills one I use this for bookmark bookmark and behind here says Maria was her first mini album then it just uh, repeats the track list I still don't know why would you want to have this this line here like for those I've seen before like um who did it I can't remember whether Moonbyol or Sola did it and that pissed me off <laughs> I know it's their own album but they literally just tore it I'm like didn't. <laughs> it was so stressful to see, oh my god. But yeah, so this happened. <laughs> like legit this happened. And I'm legit thinking of whether I should get the LMM album as well. I am honestly thinking like should I, should I not, should I, should I not. But yeah, let me just get the thumbnail picture out. It's so big and heavy. Ugh. 
Yeah, so that's how I get my <laughs> thumbnails. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's all I have for now. And <laughs> I'll be back with more videos for sure. If you like Mamamoo, you like Hwasa, or you like any other Mamamoo members, let me know in the comment section below like what made you a Mumu or what made you interested in Mamamoo and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section below. And also don't forget to hit that like button because then I'll know that this unboxing videos is something that you guys like to see from me. And finally, lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that that bell icon so that you'll always be notified of when I post my new videos. And yeah, that's it for today. Stay safe, stay inspired. If ever you need anyone to be your virtual shoulders to cry on or you just need someone to hear you out, please, please, please drop me an email at um here <laughs> and then i will try my best to respond to each and every one of you and yeah take care and have a great one have a great day guys bye